Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys one dreadlock tool that you guys need to have if you guys are going to have dreadlock. Now, if you aren't new to my channel and you've been here for a minute, you've been sticking around, you guys know that I've made plenty of mistakes in the past with my dreadlocks, you know, not doing certain things, you know, and doing certain things certain ways. So basically what I want to do is help prevent you guys from making the same mistakes that I made and maybe your dreadlock journey can just be a little bit more smoother than mine. So if you are new, welcome to the channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys leave a like for the algorithm. It really does help. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video now. So like I said, I made a lot of mistakes with my dreadlocks in the past. Like one of the mistakes that I've really made that caused my dreadlocks to have a major problem in my eyes. It's kind of a major problem for me, which was really dyeing my hair too early, right? So when I dyed my hair too early, some of my locks began to come out. Some of my locks began to thin, you know, on the edges and stuff like that. That was a mistake. And at the time, I really didn't know a way to fix that. You know, I didn't know a way to fix, you know, thinning dreadlocks or anything like that. And along with that, you know, like I said, my tips were messed up. So my tips weren't really firm. You know what I'm saying? They weren't really, you know, locked and it was just kind of like frizzy tips and stuff like that. Looking back at this with the knowledge that I have now, I really could have avoided all of these problems and I really could have probably saved a lot of my drill locks if I had this one tool. Now, before I tell you about this tool, man, I want to let you guys know that you guys can use this tool for creating drill locks, fixing drill locks, making drill locks lock faster, and really just keeping your drill locks looking maintained and healthy, you know what I'm saying? So, so just letting you guys know how valuable this tool is, you guys can use this for a lot of different things. And that tool is the drill lock crochet needle. So basically the drill lock crochet needle is just a needle with a hook on it right and you can go inside and out of the dreadlock or the hair you know what i'm saying you guys can create dreadlocks right so it's just intertwining all the hair into a dreadlock so now guys for my returning viewers now i know you guys remember that video that i did when i was combining thinning dreadlocks right and that was with the crochet needle so as you guys can see there's a hook right on the end of this crochet needle so basically what that does you can use this to go inside and out of the dreadlock and then you can actually bring the hair from each side inside of the dreadlock you know what i'm saying so you're gonna basically be intertwining the dreadlock you're basically locking the dreadlock you're getting instant dreadlocks pretty much so i'm pretty sure you guys have seen that around youtube so um if you're here you probably have seen that around youtube so what you want to do first you're gonna go ahead and start off at the top right so we're gonna go ahead and start off right here. And then as you're doing this guys, as you're doing this, you kind of want to like, as you're going down the lock, you kind of want to like twist the lock, right? So once I start going down, I'm gonna show you guys. So you just wanna go in and out. As you guys can see, I'm going in and out. In that video, I basically just took a thinning dreadlock and attached it to a thicker dreadlock, right? And now it is in my hair and it's all locked together. So basically I'm saying this to say that if I had the dreadlock crochet needle back then, when I had a lot of, you know, starting off thinning dreadlocks and stuff like that, I really could have saved a lot of my dreadlocks with this crochet needle. I could have just did what I did in the video, combined some of my locks and, you know, just called it a day and then it would have just been locked up, right? But you know, I really didn't know of the dreadlock crochet needle back then, right? Another thing this tool is really, really, really good for is when you have tips that are not blunted off right and basically what I mean not blunted off is basically they're just loose on the ends right and I actually have some dreadlocks and I'm about to show you like that we're actually gonna fix it on camera just so I can show you guys in this video what you guys are doing so basically the benefit of having this tool right here is really just to keep your hair maintained looking maintained looking like actual dreadlocks you know what I'm saying you know because some you know sometimes the dreadlocks are not as you know structured and stuff like that but if you want them to make if you want to make your dreadlocks look as structured as possible you know as like cylindrical as possible then the dreadlock crochet needle is for you so guys check this gel lock out right here this is just a lock that's not blunted off you know what i'm saying it's just loose on the ends right it's just loose hair right but we're about to fix it with this crochet needle so i'm going to show you guys that now so basically we're going to do the same thing that we were doing with the you know thinning lock we're just going to go in and out as you guys can see i'm going up and down the gel lock like this and I'm just turning the dreadlock around as I'm doing this, you know what I'm saying? So what it's doing, it's just taking all that loose hair. As you guys can see, the loose hair is disappearing already. It's just taking all this loose hair and putting it in between the dreadlock, you know what I'm saying? So it's just reusing the hair, basically. You're just putting the hair where you really want it and need it to be, you know what I'm saying? And this is the final product right here after using the crochet needle. So you can really blunt off these tips really well. You can blunt off these tips, combine your thinning locks very, very well. And the crazy thing about this product is you can actually get two of them 
for five dollars you guys can actually find this link in my description so you guys can get your own crochet needle and also for the people with starter locks for the people with freeform dreads you know for the people who whose locks are really not all the way locked up this tool is for you as well if you want your hair to lock up faster all you have to do is exactly what i was doing just do that to your dreadlocks when needed and i guarantee you you will see a difference in your locks you will see them to become a lot tighter a lot more cylindrical you know a lot more dreadlock looking you know what i'm saying so yeah if you guys learned something today make sure you guys leave a like on this video make sure you guys subscribe it really does help the algorithm and make sure you guys definitely get that dreadlock crochet needle it is definitely needed throughout your dreadlock journey thank you guys for the support and i'll see you guys next time peace